Don't know that you're so well lost in fact She don't want love She don't love no one but herself All she really cares about is a lace front weaving Both teeth front Chanel What about love? Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel And it's Milan here Today I'm going to be showing y'all How I got this bomb layered ginger look Um, it's really beautiful And I love it And also, make sure you guys go follow my Instagram I got a lot of cute, cool looks on there That y'all gonna love, so you know, follow my Instagram. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah, so right now I was trying to make the part. I was trying to get everything really straight. I already laid down my lace and everything. You can still kind of see some of the um, glue, but I'll clean that up after, like when the video is all over. But yeah, I'm trying to make my part. I could have put some concealer in there, but I decided not to. And now what I'm doing is before I straighten it, I just want to get all the roots together and I want to get them um, really as flat as possible, you know? I like when the roots are like flat down to my head. I don't like when it's like poofy at the top. So I was doing that first because I know I wasn't going to be able to get it with my flat iron because it's really big. Now I'm pulling out my Revlon flat iron. It's the wide flat iron, so it gets like a lot of parts at once. I think I uh, put it on 450 because I wanted it. I wanted this really straight, y'all. Like I wanted it straight, and I do not like straightening hair. Like I get so aggravated, so I did need this like straight as possible in the littlest amount of time and a little bit amount of effort because I'm not gonna be sitting here straightening my hair all day. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing now. And y'all can watch me do that. Okay, so now what you're seeing is me swoopity swooping my edges. They're gonna be laser guys. Actually, it's really hard for me to do edges because I don't usually do edges on my my wigs, but I decided to do edges this time because you know it's trendy and it's cute. 
but I did very minimal edges because I do not know why I'm doing that much with edges. So I just put plopped two edges on the side of my head and I just molded it with the got to be glued mousse and that really did work and I also used some other gel. I forgot what the name of it is, but I put it up in my um video. <laughs> I don't know when, but I did put it up. Uh yeah. So after I do my edges, I'm just probably I'm pretty sure I hot combed the the top part of my hair again and then I put the mousse on the top part of my hair so it can be as flat as possible. That's really what makes the style. Your hair has to be as flat as possible. So yeah, that's what I did. Okay, so this is what's gonna make your hairstyle. I don't know what type of scissors y'all use, but these are scissors I use. And as you can see, what I'm doing, I'm just gonna cut straight down diagonally. Um, for this side, I found that it is better for you to cut in sections straight across, not so much so diagonally, but I don't know how to explain it. You still wanna cut diagonally, but you wanna cut, cut <laughs> straight across in some sections so that it can be a little bit more choppy at the ends but you will feather out the ends but when it's more choppy at the ends the curl at the end looks way better and I actually did the other side choppy so I'm gonna show y'all how I did that Okay, so this is the other side that turned out a little bit better when I um, curled it. Now, I cut it up upwards, and when I was cutting it, I actually thought that this side was going to be the worst side, but the other side ended up being my problem side. So I cut it up diagonally, but like upward, and I still feathered it, feathered it out a little bit more. But on this side, you can see the difference in levels. Like, it was more levels. Uh, 
on the other side everything was like blended together so the other side would be good if you just want to wear your hair straight but i found that this this other method works better if you're just um gonna curl the ends like how i'm doing so yeah and you can watch me um cut the hair more and honestly you all you need to do is just play with it and I promise you you literally can't go wrong with this you know keep playing with it keep on cutting until you like it basically don't cut off too much but you know keep on cutting Okay, so now you can see me curling the hair. I'm gonna let y'all watch me curl the hair, but what I'm doing is just bumping the hair towards me, and then um, I'm letting the curls cool down before I brush them out. As you can see, the curls weren't coming out the way I wanted to at first. So more so like towards the end of the video, video you're gonna see me cut off the pieces that wasn't working for me and didn't look good. And that's just what you have to do when you bump it. You're going to have to cut off some pieces, you know. So, yeah, just make it look nice. Just keep curling it and keep playing around with it and cutting it until it looks nice to your standards. And I like the way that it turned out. So, yeah. Taven, this is crazy. The lighting just got real better. Okay. So yeah, guys, this is going to be the final look. It looks really 90s, very cute beautiful this is the end of my video if you like it if you liked it like comment and subscribe uh thank you for watching and see y'all next time i'm gonna call it how you are you was flawless from the start you think i